I look rough today. I look so tired and that's accurate. I am so tired. I am in Czech Republic visiting my family and I'm also here for my birthday having breakfast and doing something I haven't done in a really long time and that is climbing a mountain and it's actually a pretty funny story but the last time I was no actually not the last time but like six seven years ago when I was in Czech Republic I tried to climb this mountain and I did and it was extremely difficult for me I could like barely make it up and then about a week later, I found out that I had an incurable rare bone marrow failure disorder, which is the reason why I had such a hard time. But it is now like seven years later, I'm in remission, I'm doing better, I'm healthy, and I'm trying it again. So it is safe to say that I made it to the top with absolutely no problem. And then finally, when we got back to the hotel, we decided to have a little spa day. And guys, let me tell you, there are not a lot of reasons to come to my hometown in Czech Republic, Chaladna, but this is one of them. This is the hotel we stayed at, and this was the spa that they had, and they had every single possible amenity you could imagine. They had a room that was filled with snow. They had every single type of sauna you could dream of. They had this like solarium sauna. They had a steam room, they had a regular sauna, they had a whirlpool jacuzzi, they had a pool. It was incredible. We are on our way to Austria. We just stopped at a gas station and guys, the gas stations in Czech Republic, I mean, let me just give you a little tour, okay? This is wild, but oh my gosh. So cool. Are you kidding me? Okay, you guys might have some whiplash right now. Like, wait, what the hell? I thought you were staying in Czech Republic. What are you doing at a gas station on your way to Austria? Well, let me explain, you guys. I haven't seen my family in Czech Republic in nearly three years. So I really wanted to just like be in the moment and enjoy every single second I had with them. We were in Czech Republic for about four days. I had my birthday celebration there. But for the final two days of my trip, I wanted to take a little road trip somewhere I had never been. So here I am at a gas station in the middle of Moravia on my way to Austria. So we are at this like random roadside restaurant in Austria on our way to Wolfgang Sea, which is in the mountains. And this is really unique. Like this is, this feels authentic. So let's see if it's good. The entire menu in this place was in German. So we had absolutely no idea what a cordon was, what we were ordering, but I just decided to play it safe and order what the Austrians order when in Austria. And that is of course schnitzel. Like you cannot go wrong with schnitzel, but this place was really cool. It was literally just like this random stop off the side of the highway. And I can confirm that the schnitzel was 10 out of 10 amazing and then after this we just proceeded on our drive finally after six hours of being on the road we arrived on the austrian german border at this small lakeside village called wolfgangsee which i've never heard of in my life before but guys check out this hotel and the views there was this amazing infinity pool with this insane lookout on the snow-capped Rocky Mountains. And just look at that turquoise blue lake that is unfortunately not swimmable because it was 50 degrees. But maybe next time. It's just so crazy because these are the types of places you don't really hear about on social media. We went here based on a recommendation from one of my family members who was Czech, but the room at this hotel was also quite nice. So let me give you guys a little bit of a tour. So when you walk in, you have this gorgeous big tub and shower. And then moving forward, you have the spacious little living room slash bedroom area. And then the bedroom. The best part of this room was obviously the balcony, which provided you with an amazing view of the lake and the mountains. And guys, I don't know what got into me. Maybe it's like the fact that I turned 34 years old and I'm like starting to feel like these aches and pains that I never felt before. But something about this trip just made me want to like engage in wellness activities. So we found ourselves again at the spa and I became quite a sauna addict. And then of course we had to do as all aging people do, and that is we went to play golf. It is day two in Austria. It is a beautiful day. We are at a golf course. We're gonna do nine holes. 
and then just enjoy our last day because after today we're going back to the US, back to the dogs. Playing like shit. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am not used to playing courses on this level. Like I play my local nine hole course where every single hole is a par three. So to be fair, I played absolutely horrible and I'm actually too embarrassed to even post this, but I'm going to for your amusement. Um, but here's my swing on one of the par, one of the only par threes on this course. And I still could not manage to get it anywhere near the green. Once we got back from Golf, we ended up doing a little walk around the village of Wolfgang C, which I didn't know that this was going to be so nice, guys. Like, I just walked down a little alleyway and boom, there were all these shops and little cafes and restaurants and I ended up stopping in pretty much all of them and I bought some souvenirs for my family. I bought my mom a little gift because they were so kindly watching my dogs. We had a little sandwich, a little strudel. Sorry if you guys are like hearing weird noises in the background of this vlog. My dogs are next to me sleeping and snoring and making noises but anyway for our last dinner in Austria we went to this cute little local place but I'm actually pretty sure it was a tourist trap but anyway we had apple strudel obviously we had this is this is out of order by the way we had goulash beer schnitzel and strudel and it was amazing i'm telling you guys austria is underrated when it comes to food everything we had on this trip was delicious and then during our last evening i decided to do a much needed face mask because this travel was doing a number on my skin and one of my favorite things in austria was the tv and just like how unhinged this one particular channel was it was just 24 hours of non-stop people singing folk music on mountains <laughs> and that's it for my trip i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for following me i am now back in the u.s and so grateful to have had this experience and grateful for 34 years on this planet sending much love make sure to like make sure to subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next video Mwah.